what is a call to action on a website. So basically, if anyone goes to your website, you wanna make sure that your phone number is at the top of the page and most likely that your phone number sticks to the website no matter where the person scrolls so that the ease of the call to action being a phone call or a form submission where you have call to actions basically asking the website visitor for the business. So if someone comes to your website, the objective is to put your best foot forward, to give the best description of your business, to show the best face in a digital way to your prospect. So when they're there and they're looking through and they may get to the section where they're ready to basically take action and get in contact with you, you want to make sure that your phone number is right there, that it's clickable, and that basically they're able to just press a button and instantly connect to your sales team. Just as well, the contact form should also stick right next to the phone number because that is the second call to action. That is what you want them to do. You have a person on your website who is ready to speak to you, whether right now through a phone call or a form submission if it's after hours. So if someone's on your website and it's after working hours, they're most likely going to put their information in so that the next morning your sales team can call them and basically you know, go over what their needs are and hopefully book an appointment or a sale for your service. So call to actions are super important. Make sure they're extremely prevalent right on your website. Make sure your website developer has them sticking wherever the person goes just as well as the form submission. Click to the form, a click to the call, and you've got yourself a lead. Thanks for watching.